Thanks for that worksheet. It was so inspiring, said no student ever. That meme makes the rounds on social media because there's so much truth to it. And yet we still assign worksheets to students. I mean, we're strapped for time as teachers, and sometimes photocopying that worksheet means we can be done with our work for the day and go home. But what if we could upgrade those worksheets without extra effort? What if we could make them engaging and meaningful instead of drudgery? We can. In this video, I'll share with you four ways that you can upgrade your worksheet. And spoiler alert, an interactive display like this one from Samsung can power your worksheet transformation. I'm Matt Miller from Ditch That Textbook. Let's get started. In this video, I get to demo these ideas on this Samsung interactive display. It's super collaborative and it lets students do meaningful interactive work in vibrant, colorful glory. Students can mirror their devices on it. They can sketch, draw, take notes on it and save them all for later. Plus, there's a built-in web browser that connects lots of your favorite apps. So, how are we gonna upgrade those worksheets? Let's dive in. Idea number one is to swap out those multiple choice worksheets and swap in online review games. This is an easy switch because there's so many apps that you can use and most of them have pre-made games that you can choose from. When it comes to these online review games, I like to go with what I call the big five. Kahoot, Quizzes, Quizlet Live, Gimkit, and Blookit. All five are a little bit different, but they all let your students practice new content and skills. Plus, all of them deliver results directly to you, so you can provide immediate feedback and adjust your instruction. You can create your own games by typing your own questions and answers, or even copy-pasting over from an existing digital worksheet. Another option, find pre-made games and use them as is, or make a copy of them and edit them, removing questions, adding questions, adjusting them a little bit to make it exactly what you and your students need. Samsung's interactive displays have a built-in web browser that lets you run these review games on the fly in front of your class. The display is super responsive, meaning that every tap, every touch, every click registers quickly and accurately. You can bookmark favorite websites and apps in the browser to save time. The web browser in the Samsung interactive display integrates nicely with most all your favorite classroom apps and websites. Idea number two is to replace map labeling and use interactive map tools. Paper maps are limited. They end up in the bottom of backpacks and lockers, and they can't show the color and detail of virtual maps. Use an interactive map tool like Google My Maps to have students label the important parts of a map, draw out notable areas or regions, or even show directions from one place to another. My Maps is also collaborative, so everyone in the class can contribute to the same map. Another interactive map tool is Google Earth. You can create virtual tours on Google Earth where students type information, collect photos and videos, and even provide hyperlinks to describe a stop on the virtual tour. When students present them, Google Earth jumps them from spot to spot in a breathtaking virtual flyover. These Google Earth mapping activities show students the world from a satellite view or even from the street view so they get a lifelike look at these locations, way more than they get with a paper map. Idea number three is to replace matching activities with hands-on digital tools. These tools work brilliantly on an interactive display. Students can drag and move words around on a word wall, using them as virtual manipulatives in a digital space. And with learning apps, students can tap on images to match up concepts, put ideas into order, and drag items into a number line. You can create your own activities or search through pre-created ones. Best of all, lots of these options are free. If you have a Samsung interactive display, you can load up the pre-created forms, including images of human anatomy and graphs for plotting math problems. You can even find or create your own images to use as forms then import them into the background of the role feature to draw. Idea number four is to replace paper graphic organizers with collaborative workspaces like Google Slides and PowerPoints. Google Slides and PowerPoint aren't just for doing presentations anymore. 
When students jump into the same slide deck, they can have their own slide, their own workspace, and then they can see each other's work whenever they want. This type of space makes lots of collaborative learning possible. Add a graphic organizer to each student's slide, and then let them explore how their classmates filled it out when they're done. Or put students into small groups where they can collaborate on group slides together. When you display those student slides on a Samsung interactive display, the display becomes a collaborative learning hub. It's constantly updating students' work together in the shared digital space, meaning that the collaboration lives on the screen. So there you have it, four ways to upgrade your worksheet with your interactive display. Tell us in a comment, what are your favorite ways to upgrade a worksheet? And how can we transform our worksheets into meaningful digital learning activities? And if you want more information on Samsung Interactive Displays and how they can transform learning in your school or school district, check out the links in the video description below.